So my plan is to make a video about my experience at a CSA farm, um, a veggie farm nearby that I'm going to volunteer at um, just to learn about how to organic uh, larger scale growing goes. And so um, she's offered to let me come and help out and learn. So I'm excited to see how much I'm going to learn all through summer to the fall. I'm just getting home from working, but I thought it'd be cool to kind of document what I learned. I've only ever really worked at a dairy farm, so this will be fun to new learn about veggies and stuff. So, when I got there, they had me go to the greenhouse and pull the radishes. I worked with someone the whole time today. And then after that we went out and laid landscape fabric. And then the other girl burned holes. We planted some lovage, which I'd never planted into landscape fabric like that in a raised bed before. So after that we went and popped some hot peppers and put them in uh, baskets ready to be planted out in the field so when we were done with that they took those out to the field and plant and then we went over to the onion field and picked onion weeds around the onions so that was also had been covered in plastic and onions probably every six or eight inches so we did that until like about 2 o'clock. Then we went in for lunch. Had about a half an hour. So I got to meet everybody. And then we pulled the tomatoes and got those ready and set so that they would be easy to plant. Um, in the morning they're going to set out tomatoes because it's been so rainy here they couldn't get in the fields. So and that took until about five. I learned how to put on landscape fabric and tuck the ends in with the shovel. Definitely all in all a good day. I'm pretty tired. Um, but it was fun to get out and, and hear the birds. The mosquitoes weren't too bad. 75 degrees out. It was a hot day. I picked strawberries most of the day. I think it's like the 21st of June. The longest day of the year. Started out the day weeding some herbs and then spent the rest of the day on the strawberries. Definitely my knees are hurting from that. But it was a good day. A lot of questions. Got to meet some new people, hear them talk about what they learned about things and where they've been. So that was kind of fun. One thing I learned about strawberries is they need to be like flowers that need to be deadheaded to produce more flowers. So the same way you gotta pick the berries or if they get old and rot on the vine they won't uh, grow any more new ones. So that was kind of cool to learn. It's July 5th. Pretty hot and hot and muggy, humid day. So we started out the day um, picking flowers for her um, CSA tomorrow. So we picked flowers in the morning. I used kind of a Japanese scissor. It uh, looks like mini tin snips, but it was really sharp and nice for the flowers. So we cut those and put them in buckets of water, stripped the, stripped the leaves off the stems like about that far. After that we went in the greenhouse and picked tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes. And then we went out in the field and picked strawberries for about an hour. Um, and I thought it wasn't going to be dry enough, but it was. So we did that. I know. Um, something I learned out there working with the strawberries is you can't put strawberries in the same field because it carries a disease. Um, and they were saying that even up 
even 30 years later somebody tried to do it and it was a failure so anyways I guess I need to think about where I put my strawberries and then not move them we were picking like seven year old strawberry plants then I guess they're gonna start some new ones next year so it was a, like a half a day I worked so anyways got pretty muddy strawberry field and the greenhouse was kind of muddy I'm on the flower field but just down poured really good anyway that was my July 5th supposed to be a heat exit like 95 today or something super humid uh, I don't know what we're gonna do today but we'll see so today I think it's like July 20th 95 degrees out and really humid um, we ended up working out in the morning which it seemed like the, it didn't seem too hot for a while because it kind of crept up on you being out there and it's cloudy so that made it better but we cut a bunch of flowers for arrangements and then uh, sorted tomatoes to get ready for market tomorrow um, and she does stems off so they don't poke into the other tomatoes and ruin the other ones so that, that made a lot of sense to me I helped with the bouquets which was a new thing and then they were they had two other guys um, out picking zucchini and cucumbers kind of a short day because it's so hot but we were working in a lane to prep area so that made it better I'm exhausted sweaty but a good day's work always feels good her arms are a little scratched up and tomato hands now I know that's a thing. <laughs> Anyways, our next time will be August. Alright, so it's August 2nd and I'm headed out. I guess we're going to do flowers and zucchini and cucumbers today. Um, anyway, we're getting an early start to beat the heat and um, that's it. We just come back. We worked till 4 today. Um, I sorted tomatoes, we spent the morning uh, picking flowers and stripping the leaves off, put them in buckets, and then uh, we cleaned some onions, just peeled all the dried up papers off them, and then we went out and picked cucumbers and cu uh, zucchini, and brought them back and they put them in big vats of water so that they would cool them down real quick and rinse some of the dirt off and then uh, we use a little counter to count them and put them in the buckets of the bins made bouquets washed the vases so I got to do a bunch of different a bunch of different things that I hadn't done before that was the day I'm tired because we were at the fair yesterday I think it's August 18th kind of foggy today uh, it's only supposed to get to 81 I think so Anyway, there's a few things I forgot last week, last time because we were going to go camping, so I was rushed filming last time. Um, they had to put a hot wire around the squash, like the cucumber and zucchini, so to keep the deer out. He said it worked pretty well. And then, um, also when we were processing the... Like when they brought that in or cooled it down in the water, we put it in tubs, which you sanitize with like a vinegar solution. Um, so that's kind of an important thing they use there is sanitizing between batches of food um, for storage and stuff. That's about all I have for today. I better finish my breakfast on the way there. A long day. Eight hours. So I did a face plant today. I was super tired out. It was hot. It was like 81. And we've been uh, picking potatoes. I was carrying a bucket and I wasn't watching where I was going. I haven't done that since I was a kid. I don't know. No, since I was in rollerblades in college. Pretty much did a flip. There was a lot of people there. They were pretty entertained. <clears throat> Anyways, 
back to the farm. Um, this was the most, probably the most variety, one of the harder days. Oh, we started out cutting flowers again, and I um, trimmed all the flowers off the basil so it would come back. I can't remember the order, but we picked green beans, picked potatoes, tomatoes. All the dirt the tomatoes are growing in was like black, and then the dirt the t potatoes are growing in is like sand. I washed uh, food containers, like big tubs, and washed vases. Then we peeled these onions. Peeled the onions on the way. On the way out, definitely made me appreciate everybody who puts time and energy into growing food. I used to think, oh yeah, well it's labor intensive, but it's hard labor intensive. <laughs> hard on the back. Oh, and then I cut, like, cut the tops off of shallots and peeled the the dead layers off so they could take those to market. Right, we picked cucumbers and they picked cantaloupe. And also kale, collards maybe. And then I got some fall crops going. They had to go, um, like weed the carrots. And they were going to plant out some more zucchini for a fall crop for that. One of the things I learned today was they irrigate out of a creek that's spring fed. And they had it tested because it's on food. I learned that when it's really dry, the green beans just are all leathery and hollow. I learned that they don't harvest when it's wet because it spreads disease on the squash and tomatoes. <coughs> Doesn't look like I'm going to get to work tomorrow. It, um, my husband can't get off work that day. Uh, mandatory class, I guess. So, Anyway, bummer. Mm-hmm. <laughs>